Hello, this is Bhaktavar Mahmood and you're watching White News. In this video, White News will present some solid reasons for sanctioning India. Back in 2015, Ajit Doval visited Iraq on a secret mission. Reasons of the visit were replenishment of ISIS in terms of manpower and equipment, meeting with the leader of ISIS in Iraq and Syria, prepare feasibility to open ISIS chapter in Afghanistan. Later on, the manpower issue was resolved through bulk recruitment for ISIS fighters from Kerala, India. This issue was discussed in the West as well as that how India has become a hot belt for ISIS. International media also highlighted six to seven Indian companies who were found involved in correspondence with ISIS with regards to armament. White News found some videos as well, loitering on social media, explaining ISIS connection with some Indian companies responsible for handling fissile material. The story of handling terror networks by India never ended on ISIS. TTP Commander Hakimullah Mehsood's deputy Latifullah Mehsood, who is presently in the custody of Pakistani authorities, was handed over to the US in 2016. An eye-opener interview of Mehsood is also available on social media, clearly claiming raw and envious connection with TTP. Ajit Doval's speech in which he is confessing for hiring mercenaries against Pakistan. We start working on the vulnerabilities of Pakistan. It can be economic, it can be internal security, it can be political, it can be their isolation internationally, it can be their this thing like that, of exposing their terrorist activities or it can be anything. And lastly, the feather in the cap apprehended version of Ajit Doval, Commander Kalbhushan Jadav clearly explains his connection with RAW and ex-RAW chief Anil Dashmana, who was then looking after Pakistan desk when Kalbushan Jadav was operating in Balochistan, terrorizing, killing and maiming Pakistani citizens. The subsequent activities which were then handed over by RAW when I subsequently started working for research and analysis wing, the main aim was focused on Balochistan and the Karachi region. The idea was to see to it that the subnationals within this region were facilitated and supported financially and with arms and ammunition weapons and some kind of maybe men and material movement also across the coast. The terror story will not end here as ISIS sleepy cells will now be activated to terrorize Afghanistan. A very recent threat to Kabul airport by ISIS bears the testimony to it. The only solution to have the world in peace is to sanction India. Thank you.